I had a relationship that was really important to me, and then when that relationship ended, I just couldn't let it go. I fell into a very deep depression, and I you know, slept on the floor of my bedroom, crying myself to sleep every night for months. I couldn't see a way out of it. There was just a heart-shaped hole, and there was no way to fill it with anything. I hated when anybody would tell me, oh, you just need to love yourself some more. You just need to be yourself some more. You just need to go places that you enjoy and those people will find you. I was like, fuck you guys, that's bullshit. I still remember taking a marker and writing, he doesn't love you on the mirror of my bathroom because I, I had started to kind of process that, but I really needed a daily reminder. I had been dating for a really long time and not finding anybody. I had a series of failed relationships and, you know, it wasn't even just that I wasn't choosing the right people. It was just that I wasn't capable of being happy or capable of meeting my own needs. Um, and I just kept looking to them to meet my needs. And of course they did it very wrong. And <laughs> I got very angry. And so whether it was them leaving me or me leaving them, you know, that was just the tradition in my life of dating. And so I felt like a complete failure, especially because I was getting into my mid thirties and I, I really wanted to find somebody and have a um, family. Before I joined Self Coaching Scholars, I was a bit of a hot mess. <laughs> At the time, I did not understand what coaching even was. I thought it was like an accountability partner. I really didn't understand what the difference between a therapist and a coach was, and so I had no idea that that's even what I needed. I just knew that this woman was talking about things that spoke very deeply to me. I started to understand more of the concepts behind those and eventually joined Scholars, and I, I do feel like that's where it really took off when I committed to the daily practice, or at least the weekly practice, of working on those things and started really consuming a ton of her content and trying to apply it in my daily life. It's hard to say exactly what filled the heart-shaped hole. Definitely over time, just by really focusing on my thoughts and um, working the model and figuring out what it was that I needed to give myself. I guess I started to identify that the things that I was wanting from these men or from my mom or from you know whoever, my, my job, alcohol, whatever it was, were, were all things that I just needed to provide to myself. And even just pondering the question of how to do that, I feel like was such a mindset shift that it made a big difference. And it started to encourage me to figure out how. The work that I've done in Scholars has allowed me to see the truth about life, which is, <laughs> which is just that you have to give everything that you need to yourself. It transformed how I show up in the world. My love life has been totally transformed. Everything has changed. Um, a year ago, I met the most amazing human being on the planet. <laughs> it's funny because when we first started out, things weren't perfect. Um, but I had gotten to a place where I was sort of willing to say what I could accept and then leave the rest and really trust that everything was gonna work out. So that was a year ago. And then on Sunday, we got engaged. The more that I do the work, the more those changes continue to take place, the more I become more authentically me and have accepted, I think, that that's something that is the ultimate goal.